Ha, ah, here's one. Here's a tobacco plant with a pig gene. My mom always used to say that a great recipe doesn't start in the kitchen. It starts outside with a seed in the ground. Growing up, we knew where all our food came from because my mom's giant garden was basically our grocery store. When the first genetically modified crops came on the market, my mom made it her personal mission to find out everything she could about them. And before long, she had me searching for answers as well. The report was released and it blasted the methods and the entire philosophy of how we regulate genetically modified organisms. I think these big companies realized there was a lot more money in patented seed and they wanted to get farmers forced into raising that patented seed year after year. 80% of all genetically engineered crops are designed to withstand herbicides. Very good for Monsanto, DuPont, Syngenta, Bayer and Dow. They're selling more of their chemicals because they are chemical companies. So 150 million more pounds of herbicide each year in the United States are sprayed because of GMOs. If you add water to a food product, you must put water on the food label. But if you add insecticide, through genetic engineering, you need not label. We want genetically engineered foods labeled. They have spent hundreds of millions of dollars to overturn the GMO right to know legislation that states have passed. Governments are not representing the people. Governments are completely in the hands of the big corporations. It's all about money. We have to leave behind this absurdity of spraying poisonous chemicals on our food and get back to the small farmers, the people who care about the land. Ces fins de jardin, tu mélanges un peu de fleurs, un peu de légumes, un peu de toutes sortes de choses. C'est juste magique.